So there's an organization called RAIN, the Rape and Incest National Network. These are, they do a great job with uh, people who have been raped, sexually assaulted, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day of the year, you can call them and they can help you. You don't know what to do, call them. They will help you. And I'll link it below where you can, uh, you can contact them. But that does not immunize them from criticism when they, when they promulgate bullshit. One of the hardest things, it turns out, is getting actual data, actual reality, when it comes to sexual assault and rape in this country. Uh, I wonder why that is. It's because nobody really wants to define the scope of the problem. So Rain has a website and a webpage here, the Criminal Justice System Statistics. Looks official. It says here on a chart, the vast majority of perpetrators will not go to jail or prison. It says here on the chart, out of every 1,000 rapes, 995 perpetrators will walk free. A couple problems here. Their stat is bullshit. We'll get down. They even correct themselves below. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't say correct. They contradict themselves below and on other web pages here. But what they're also assuming is that out of every 1,000 rapes, 995 perpetrators, meaning those guilty. That is a horrible thing, isn't it? And completely untrue. What they're talking about is out of every 1,000 rapes, 995 men and women accused of rape will walk free. Why? It's the patriarchy. It's misogyny. It's the rape culture. No, they're not convicted in a court of law. We still have a legal justice system in this country that requires proof beyond a reasonable doubt. 230 rapes are reported to police. 46 reports lead to an arrest. Nine cases get referred to prosecutors. Five cases will lead to a conviction and 4.6 rapists will be incarcerated out of every 1,000 rapists out there. That's what they want you to believe. Number one, if she said it happened, he is guilty. And since he's guilty, 995 of these guilty men will be released, will not have to serve any time in jail, which is absolute nonsense. We know that. Let's scroll down the page here. Let's, uh, let's see what we have. Oh, oh my goodness, we have some text. The headline said out of every 1,000 rapes, well, suddenly the majority of sexual assaults are not reported to the police. Wow. That's kind of a big difference, isn't it? Only 230 out of every 1,000 sexual assaults are reported to the police. Where above, it was 230 out of every 1,000 rapes. I see what they're trying to do. Now, sexual assault and rape are very well defined in the law. A sexual assault could be a grope. It could be some guy brushing up against you on a dance floor. Or it could be some guy maybe stalking you or something right? Creepy shit. Don't get me wrong. But the vast majority of women are probably not going to call the cops because some guy groped them or grabbed their ass. Just doesn't happen. Same with men. It's like, ah, that's, that's icky, but I'm not going to call the police. I don't want to make a big deal out of it. It's ah, whatever, you know, I wouldn't, ah, blah, 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 well, whatever. So I would say this stat is probably correct that only 230 out of every 1000 sexual assaults are reported to police. I do not believe only 230 out of every 1,000 rapes are reported to police. That, that's nonsense. You see, what they're trying to do, as they always do, is conflate sexual assault and rape. Rape is a sexual assault, but not all sexual assault is rape. But yet, the feminazis and the other people pushing this nonsense, they want you to believe that. Remember what Matt Damon said. You know, it's, it's all bad, and there's no question, it's icky. But he says, let's not conflate the two. You know, being groped is not the same as being raped. And, of course, the feminazis came out and uh, eviscerated him. Oh, he, look at him, he's rape apologizing and all kinds of other bullshit. That is a fact. A grope is not a forcible rape. Yet, it's people like Rain and other feminazi groups that want you to believe it is the same. And they lump it all together under sexual assault because they have conditioned you for decades to believe that when someone says they were sexually assaulted, you think rape. It's propaganda. And it's a shame that Rain is spewing this bullshit 
because they really honestly do a great thing for people who have been in these situations. It, they're, they're a decent organization. But this is nonsense. Absolute lies and twisting of statistics. I'll link it below. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.